Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite, and welcome back to Angels with Scaly Wings. Um, it's, uh, it's been a few months since I recorded this, because as much as I like this game, I, it's, it's perhaps one that I don't need to record while my siblings are home for the summer. So, uh, I'm, I need a bit of a refresher on what's going on. I kind of know what's going on based on the, uh, can I scroll back any? I can scroll back a little bit. I kind of know what's going on based on, like, the video that I edited. Uh, so far in recent days, but um, I'm sure there will be things that I missed. So let's uh, let's start reading. I awoke from uneasy dreams looking at an unfamiliar ceiling. Just for a moment, I wondered where I was before the events of last night came back to me. Okay, so there is a... Uh, this should be New Game Plus or something along those lines. Can I skip with like... Okay, I can skip to the next... Uh, I can skip to the next decision point. Um, what did I do the first time? I think I shook his hand the first time. Let's not shake his hand this time. Um, going forward, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing with this game, uh, because of the, uh, the whole replaying branching paths thing. I want- I want to show as many endings to this- to the story as I can. Uh, preferably all of them, although if I- if I, uh, can't find some, then, well, I'll just move on to the next game that I do a let's play of. Um, but if that- if that turns out to be unfeasible, I'll just do, uh, one or two. So, with that established, nice to meet you, Sebastian. So, where are you taking me? Alright, uh, can I hit the space bar so I don't have to have the mouse cursor on the screen? I think. Straight to business. We're going to visit the plant where they are making your generators. They have some good news for you, or so I've heard. Okay. Um, I can- I can keep skipping. Do I wanna- do I wanna have fun at Razor's expense? I feel like I shouldn't because he knows things about this world that I wanna- I- I want to know also. So I shouldn't get on his bad side, but I also just want to... I'm a terrible person. I want to make him mad because I want to see what happens. Alright, very funny. So this is new, it seems. Nope, okay, I can skip this as well. Wow, you can... A lot just happened right there. What am I deciding? Um... Is this the blood thing? This is the test thing, and the blood thing, okay. Um, no. My blood is mine. Okay. Maybe next time, so that's that that's that decision. Um I'm trying to I'm trying to do the like the different things from all the decisions I made the first time so that I get a different ending, but I can't remember. Okay. Let's let's lie. Oh. That was a bit anticlimactic. Um you have already experienced this section in a satisfactory manner. Yes. No need to read everything again. Okay. Using the skip buttons can be tedious. Okay, so I get to skip the entire puzzles as well. Hey. Alright, fourth walls. Thank you, Mr. Fourth Wall. Hey, can I increase the opacity of the of the border behind this text by like a tiny amount? <laughs> Jumping head will skip minor choices that can be made. And possibly achievements. I'm not too worried about- I'm not too worried about achievements. I like my achievements, but, um, I'm not gonna hold up the let's play. I'm not gonna hold up the video just to go after them. If I find them on recording, that's great. If I don't find them on recording, I, I, I can play this on my own. Um. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. As you wish. Okay. I want to get to some new stuff. On our way to the crime scene. Okay, so this is where we're doing the, uh, the, 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 like, the Phoenix Wright dead body thing. Whatever. I don't care. I don't know what you're asking. Okay. Um, can I skip this? Didn't I already get the achievement for, um, for doing the, the investigation properly? Can't remember. Um, skip mode. Yes, that's, that's skip mode. It's not letting me. Okay. Okay, so we're at the point where Dean has decided I'm a human. Um, come on. Am I- oh, I'm scrolling back. Oops, okay, I need to scroll the other way. Yes, 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 yes. Um, can I tell her to bug her off? Adine is nice, I don't want to get her mad. I'm gonna tell her to bug her off. Bug her off, Adine. Sorry, I'd call you by your name, but you never actually told me it. It's stupid. Wait, did I click the right one? What are you even doing here? Do I work for the police? Um, bleh, no. Oh, you. Okay. Wait, did I click the right one? 
fish? What about fish? Okay. So I'm getting a Dean's number again. I'm pretty sure I did that already. Sebastian, you're not helping. Okay, Bryce, what do we do now? All right, we, we, we're skipping text. Um, all right, what's the question? Oh, we're talking about Maverick. Yeah, I had to read that like three times before I figured out what he was going on about. Um, we're looking for Reza. Yeah, let's 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 find Reza, I guess. I don't think that choice mattered. That didn't sound like a choice that mattered. Um, all right, this is where I think it's going to it's going to get important. I think I said <clears throat> uh, in the last video, and if I didn't, well, I'm saying it now. I kind of owe it to Remy to figure out what's going on with him. So I'm going to go with Remy. Remy, what are you doing? Oh, I, w I went here. This is the library. Yes, I have already, uh, I have already experienced this. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, go gunning on, on Remy now. And... How about a kiss? That's awfully fast. Uh... Hmm. I want to be really careful not to piss Remy off now. I don't know if he was gonna do the whole killing himself thing in the, in the first run. Uh, regardless of the choices that I made. But I want to, um, dance a little bit more carefully around that this time than I did before. Let's go with dinner, I guess. If nothing else, we can get more information out of him. That sounds really mean. Alright, so I've got his number already. So I'll call him later. I need to remember to call him later. If I don't call him later, he's probably gonna be really mad. Alright. Would I see him again? Probably, right? Alright, so we're not gonna do the thing with the hairy skin that we did with Remy the other time. And, um, all right. I'm pretty sure, I have no idea who Lorem is. I got a comment on a video a while ago saying that Lorem is, like, based on one of the Kickstarter backers, or was written in by one of the Kickstarter backers or something. Um, I don't think I've seen that name so far in the story. Uh, Bryce and Sebastian I didn't spend any time with uh, in the first round. Let's go with Lorem. I want to know who Lorem is, like, at all. Lorem... That's, uh, that's pancakes. Did I meet... Alright, you're... The text is making it sound like we met Lorem before. I don't remember. Uh, I went to the bar Lorem had suggested as our meeting place. Oh, as our meeting place. Not, not at our last meeting or whatever I thought it said. Whatever. When I looked around, I saw Bryce sitting at a table talking to someone I couldn't see. I lingered on him for a second, but soon spotted Lorem in the corner of my eye. You're the blue one. Okay. Hey, Lorem. It's good to see you. I thought you might not show up. Um, am I late? Not at all, I got here early. And let's move the mouse cursor off my screen again. I'm kind of surprised you wanted to meet me here. Don't take this the wrong way, but... Are you even old enough to drink? What are you talking about? Oh, I see. I assure you, I am a fully grown adult. My species don't get much bigger than this. Speaking of which, are you fully grown yet? How big do humans usually get, and how do you stack up, comparatively speaking? Oh, and would you mind if I took some notes? Oh, great, we've got another nerd on our hands. So we've got a uh, Remy's the nerd, Anna's a nerd, and now Lorem's a nerd. Good to know. I like nerds. I'm among my own kind here in more ways than one. Uh, before we get to that, you haven't even told me yet exactly what all this is for. Are you sure you're not a reporter? Is this the reporter? I remember something about a reporter, but again, I haven't played this or read this or whatever for about three months, so... If I was, Sebastian wouldn't have let me meet you in the first place, and I thought the uniform was just a clever disguise. It's real, though. Sebastian knows I work for the local post office. Excuse me, but this still doesn't really tell me anything about why I'm here. You're a postman who wants to interview me for... What, exactly? Sorry, I guess I got a bit ahead of myself here. I've noticed a bunch of characters in the story seem to be doing that. Um... <clears throat> Exhibit A, every character I've met, I've been giving the option to kiss them on, like, the first encounter. Uh, maybe a full introduction is in order, and after that you can still decide whether you want to go through with this or not. Okay, I, I don't, I don't remember a word of what I just read two seconds ago, so sure! I recently graduated college with a degree in computing, awesome, and moved in here with a good friend of mine. This town doesn't exactly offer the best opportunities to put my degree to good use, though. Then why move here in the first place? Living in the city can be very expensive. Oh my god. Got some stories about that coming up, I think. I'll go more into more detail about that probably in a future video. Uh, I can always move later when I get a job there. I've got other plans right now, though. I'm working on a video game. I like you. Do you know that? Alright, that's what this is all about. A video game. Yeah, awesome. 
You got it. Video games and computers are just starting to catch on in places like this town. That's funny considering that your operating system is Windows 10. Making good content will be very important to give a first a good first impression. So you're uh, you're you're on par with us in terms of like general computing technology, but you're about 40 years behind in terms of video games. Uh, and humans have always been part of our media, books, movies, and now games. With you on our side, this could be an amazing opportunity. Well, Oh, maybe that was, wasn't such a good idea after all. No, no, go on. No. No, no, shut up. I am not picking that second option. No, I want more of this. I don't know. You don't seem so thrilled about doing this anymore. Besides, your job must be really stressful, and you're probably already in that spotlight all the time. Yeah, can I just quit my job and come work with you for the next, like, year or whatever? Screw the asteroid. And now, to top it all off, you got some postman harassing you for an interview. If you wanted to leave, I'd get that. No, 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 stay. I, I want to be very careful about picking the right choices here because I do not want to chase you away. Well, I'm already here and have nothing else to do, so let's make the most of this. So I will tell you, if there is a uh, in a possible ending that comes from telling Lorem to go away, uh, I will not be seeing that ending. I will just be screwing, I will tell that achievement to screw off or whatever. Yes, thank you. At least not on recording. I'll save my really bad decisions for off recording. At least I wouldn't have to be so careful now. With the reporter, I had to, I'd have to worry about things being misinterpreted or taken out of context. <sighs> You've had a uh, no shortage of that already in the story, if I recall. Uh, you should still be careful. Actually, have you? Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think there has been very much like reporters taking stuff out of context in the story. All right, maybe not. You should still be careful. What you tell me now will influence how your entire species will be represented in my game. Yeah, so you'd better do a good job of it. Don't worry, though. I'll treat this delicate manner with the required finesse. Um... Uh, don't, don't get ahead of yourself. Have you... See, that's the realistic answer, because I've, I've talked to enough people who want to make games that I know how this could very well end up, but... I'm gonna go all in, I'm sure of it. How, how should we do this? Let me think. Why do you want to make a game in the first place? Because they're awesome. You've had an idea for a while. Well, get in line, honestly. Uh, and it seems like now is the right time to do it. It's almost as if you arrived at the perfect moment. I don't know. Don't you think my visit will be over- will overshadow your efforts? People may not be so interested in playing a game about humans anymore if they had a real one show up. Alright, stupid. Let me talk to you for a minute about, like, ten pull programming. Which is, like... For those of you who don't know, that that is, like, releasing media that you want people to consume around big like, real-life events. So, Halloween games tend to come out around Halloween, and, um, uh, that, and, and, like, uh, movies about, like, being in love come out on every single day of the year, not just Valentine's Day. Okay, that was a bad example. I'm gonna move on. Good point! But the vast majority won't get to meet you personally anyway. I, if I say I did, and, if I say I did, and model the humans in the game after you, people will flock to get a similar experience. Um, but yeah, just the fact that a real-life event would put the idea of, like, a human being here in people's minds and... Oh cool, there's a video game about humans, how convenient. Uh, you know that if they, uh, if a dragon were to visit real life... Like, if that were to happen, you know that there would be a sequel to this game coming out within, like, days. Alright, um, I'm gonna be your mascot, so now... So, so now I'm part of your viral, viral marketing campaign, great. Again, the gray text for the selection thing is kind of annoying me, I wish it could be, like, orange or something. Uh, something that's higher contrast against the dark background. As long as you told the truth, you have my support. Honestly, though. Alright, so you're happy about that. Okay, but why focus on humans? What makes it so important? Oh, that's right, because, uh, we learned this later in the story, and this is a new game plus, so we don't know that yet about the, uh, the, the human lore thing. If there's one thing that people here love, it's humans. It doesn't matter if they're just set in the, me set in the media, if they just see them in the media, or believe them. <clears throat> oh my god. Water. It doesn't matter if they just see them in the media or believe in them as mythical creatures. For me, humans were always real. I just didn't know whether I'd ever get the chance to meet one myself. That's basically me when it comes to dragons. I guess I can cross that one off the bucket list. You have no idea how much I wish I could say the same. Now that we're here, I can tell you that no expense will be spared to make our portrayal of humans as accurate as possible. You certainly seem passionate about this. Um... Are they messed up? You see, as a game designer, I would actually agree that they're kind of messed up because you want to focus on making the game fun, but... 
Uh, I'm with you on this. For good reason, I just love humans. Uh, if nothing else, I can always play through this, uh... Uh, like, do a, a round three in this game, New Game Plus Two or whatever, and uh, pick the realistic options. If you say it like that, it actually ends up sounding pretty weird. Or, for that matter, I can save scum. I forgot I could do that, because there's, like, a functionally limitless number of save files in this game. Uh, besides, what if I turn out to be a horrible person? What would you think about humans then? Well, let's try not to turn out to be a horrible person, for one. It wouldn't change anything, because I wouldn't base my opinion of an entire species on interactions with a single individual. There is a political commentary in there somewhere, and I'm going to let you figure that out for yourself. Then what is your current opinion of us based on? Just the myths we have and the pr previous portrayals of humans in our media, but I suppose that's why I'm here talking to you right now. I want the truth and all of it. So, you're... Okay, I guess your sample size is now 1 instead of 0. It's better than nothing, right? Telling you all of it might not be such a good idea. Oh yeah, I guess that would take a lot more time than we have today. Anyway, what's the game actually about? What do you do? Yeah, now we're getting here. See, this is the questions we should have been asking in the beginning. It's a community simulation game. It all starts with a player character moving into a procedurally generated community, which is inhabited by all kinds of mythical creatures, humans included. Mythical creatures like humans. Not only are the towns you move into unique, but the inhabitants are too. There are a variety of, there are a variety of traits that get randomized, both in looks and personality. There are many things you can do, but it's very open-ended, and you can live your entire life there however you want to. I think there was an entire in there. Was, was there an entire in there? No, you can just live your life however you want to. Okay. Sounds boring, sounds interesting, sounds like my kind of game. Um... I mean, it's not my kind of game, but it's not boring. Um... I mean, it's it's been done before, in real life at least. I don't know about in, in Dragonland. Uh, it is, at least... I hope others feel the same way about it. What other mythical creatures are there besides humans? I haven't worked that out yet, but humans alone give us a lot of material to work with. How so? The question of the mythical human can be tackled in a variety of ways. There are many different interpretations of what humans are like. For example... In general, the mythical human can be divided into three categories. Firstly, the human is a physical creature. Secondly, the human is a non-physical entity. And thirdly, the human is a spiritual being. It's not any fun. Let's start with the physical aspects. Sure, uh, concept art and all. Since one of our myths tells us that humans who created us eventually turned into a dragon, there is a lot more room for interpretation as to how similar humans actually are to dragons. Is that a reference to the administrator? I guess I'm allowed to spoil the end because I've, I've already seen one ending, so I'm allowed to spoil what I know, right? Right, let's go with that. I can see you don't have any wings, but most of us are able to create fire in some way, or at least have a breath weapon. How about you? Um, uh, you're assuming I can rub two sticks together. I can also move them with my mind. Yeah! It's called a TV remote. Really? That's amazing. I was just kidding. You tried. You shouldn't joke about things like that. This is serious. Alright. It is a bit strange, though, because our myths also say that you, that you gave that ability to us. Well, it might have been lost in translation, I guess. Maybe it's meant to be taken literally, meaning that you, that the ability was given to, that when the ability was given to us, you lost it. Um, I have a feeling I know what sense that means, and it's more the genetic engineering sense. But sure, let's go with what he says for now. Or maybe we never had it in the first place. Humans are known to have created a lot of things out of nothing. After all, we only needed to discover how to create and use fire because we didn't have a natural ability to do so. We have a proverb that, proverb that sums this up pretty well. What is it? Necessity is the mother of invention. So a lack of natural abilities drove innovation forward. What an interesting thought. Here's another thing. You may have many different images of humans, but in the end, only one can be right. It's also possible that what you've been led to believe about humans doesn't actually refer to us at all. Are you implying that you aren't human? No, I'm just saying that if you really had been in contact with humans before, as your myths imply, they would need to belong to the same species as me, and thus be very similar to myself. Alright, that this this part of the conversation seems kind of pointless. I'm not sure where you're going with this. If they aren't, then they either they weren't humans at all, or they have different origins. Because, like, this is why he's he's doing the, uh, the research on me in the first place. Unless this is the research. Huh. I guess. So you say that there is a possibility that our humans and your humans may be something different altogether. 
Divergent evolution. I suppose you are right in the way that our images of humans are very inconsistent. They certainly can't all be humans in the way that we would refer to a single species. The name should probably reserve be reserved for yours. And we haven't even touched on the two other categories of humans. What did you call them again? Non-physical human entities and spiritual humans. I'm a little curious to hear what the difference might be. Honestly, the two definitions get a bit muddled here. Going by conventional belief, a ghost can be a human who has died and thus changed into a different form. We would call this a spiritual human. An angel, on the other hand, would be classified as a non-physical entity, which is interesting because I think most of us, me included, would count them as the same thing. Uh, what do you know about angels? Angels basically look like humans with wings. And now curious if this is where the title of the story comes from. Their existence in ancient scripts was used to lend some credence to the theories about humans becoming dragons. Because of the wings. Exactly. But some of your dragon species don't have wings either. Yes, and as I said, once you start delivering, delving into that kind of stuff, it all becomes very convoluted. When we met, you also told me something about a four-headed human. Right. With that, we go into the realm of creatures that just don't make much sense at all. Having four heads just seems unlikely from an evolutionary perspective. That might not really matter if we were talking about a non-physical entity or a spiritual being, though. A four-headed an four angel, yes. Yes, is all I have to say about that. So in the end, you have a lot of different ideas wh whose only connection to each other is that you use the word human to describe them in some way. And they share at least some basic characteristics. You fit these as well, by the way. What are they? You certainly are not a reptile like us, but you don't look like a conventional mammal either. We are mammals, though. Yes, but as, but you are so different from other mammals we know that, ultimately, you are quite unique. We don't know any other sentient mammals. I mean, given what the year is, the current year, I don't think you know ma many mammals that are, like, bigger than a mouse, so... Alright. I forget exactly when um, mammals started uh, getting big. I'm pretty sure they were small in the times of the dinosaurs. You've got a point there, I'll give you that. Strangely enough, we have plenty of human-like creatures in our mythologies as well. Oh, do tell. You already mentioned ghosts, but some other ones include dwarves, giants, fairies, and bil bil What's that? Google.com. B-L-E-M-Y-E-S. It's a D&D &D thing. Apparently. And D&D &D probably got it from somewhere else. Large monstrosity, chaotic eagle, evil, armor class 15, natural armor, hit points 168. Okay. That's from D&D 5th edition. Well, they're pretty ugly. I'll say that much. I think I've heard most of these before, but what is a... Oh, you're... Okay, didn't have to look that up because you're just going to tell me. It's a human without a head. A human without a head. How does that work? How do they eat? Instead of a head, they just have all these facial features on their chest. That's a rather weird mental image. Yeah, that's what I said when I looked it up on Google two minutes ago. There are also a lot of half-human creatures that share some characteristics with humans and others with animals. Like merhumans. Sure. Lastly, there are creatures that are said to be able to shapeshift into human form. Strangely enough, some of our dragon myths said that they could shapeshift into humans or that certain countries' royals are descended from dragons. That would imply that they are genetically compatible with humans. I guess. Um, this is a branch in the story, and I want to I want to end the video before and ever. I'm going to end it off here. Um, I, I wish I could get to the end of uh, one of these interrogation visitation story path things, but I'm at like 25 minutes, and I don't want to go on too long. In the next part, uh, game dev. We're going to be doing more game dev, probably. Or that could come later. I don't know. One or the other, or neither, or both. For now, my name is Stupid. This has been Angels with Scaly Wings. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.